Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We're going to be doing the Awakening of Evil. So let's get this underway. While everyone waited for the next duel to begin, Yu-Gi returned to his room to rest. He was suddenly surprised by a man in robes who also wore a tur turban. His name was Shadi, and he explained that he had come to provide Yu-Gi guidance for the challenges that lay ahead. I am the guardian of the seven millennium items. I am here because I sense the disturbance in the mystic alignment once again. All seven items are on board this vessel, as well as the three Egyptian god cards, which means all of the objects capable of saving and destroying the world are right here. Really? The Earth's safety rests with you, Yugi. Heed my words. If the wrong individuals were to gain control of any of the Millennium Items or one of the Egyptian god cards, the results could be catastrophic. It nearly happened once before when Pegasus created dual monsters. It did, but how? It all began when Maximilian and Pegasus first arrived in Egypt. He was searching for a method of reuniting with his lost love. His quest brought him to me, and I presented him with the Millennium Eye, for he was destined to possess it. Soon after, he discovered the origins of the ancient Egyptian shadow games. Pegasus became obsessed with these games and decided to dedicate his life to recreating them. During one of his early research trips to the ancient pyramids, Pegasus planned to locate the stones depicting the Egyptian god monsters he'd read about. So I guided Pegasus and his team of archaeologists to an underground chamber hidden beneath the desert sands. And after traveling by foot for hours, our journey was over. Pegasus entered the dimly lit chamber. As promised, I brought him to the ancient resting place of the Egyptian god tablets. Pegasus found what he came for, uh, never knowing he was about to unleash a devastating force like no other. Triumphant, Pegasus returned to America to design his cards based upon the images he found on the stones. He was destined to awaken the Egyptian god monsters, but he was not destined to, to control their powerful magic. Although Maximilian Pegasus completed the prototypes of the three Egyptian god cards, he immediately flew to Egypt to seal them in the tomb alongside the original carvings and spare the world their absolute power. And with the help of Ishizu, Pegasus sealed away the cards. Then Merrick tried to steal them? Yes, and if he were to get his hands on all three, the results would be devastating. I can assure you Merrick will never hold all three Egyptian god cards. My pharaoh, it is an honor for me to be in your presence once again. I know that you will restore order to the world and put an end to this chaos, just as you did 5,000 years ago. My complete faith lies in you. At that moment, the speaker announced that all finalists must return to the main concourse, and Shadi vanished. The second duel was between Merrick and Joey. Since Odeon was pretending to be Merrick, Odeon stood before Joey, ready to duel. Let's do this, Merrick. It's time to duel and destroy you. Prepare for defeat. Don't count on it, Merrick. I'm not scared of you. Alright. I'm wondering what deck Joey's going to have, because uh, really no matter at what point he had his deck throughout the show, it always sucked. It was always a second tier crappy deck. Alright, oh yeah, I get to go second. Alrighty, let's, let's do this. Um, hmm. Not bad, actually. What the hell? Dude, what is this? Um, let me see here. Call it. Call it right. The attack monsters comes into the end of the battle phase during the, each of your standby phases. Pay 500 life points or destroy this card. Magical arm shield. Okay, I'm bringing out Hayabusa tonight. There's no way I get to do this attack. No way. Nope. Nope. Uh, continue. No, I can't continue my attack. Um, alright, this'll work. I don't want to activate it just yet. Okay. Oh, he's oh, mystical beast of circuit. Okay, well, I'm activating it now. Oh, he didn't attack. Yes, I'll pay my 500 life points. Rocket warrior. Uh, this card attacks a monster after damage. Congratulations, that attack target loses 500 attack until the end phase. Okay. Okay, um... Okay, I'm gonna end my turn. 
I want him to summon a card so I can use Magical Arm Shield. Damn it, Odeon. You little douche McGruber. Can this thing not attack? Like, why is he doing this? Why is he not attacking? Um, I guess I'm gonna drop Swordsman a Landstar. Why is he not attacking? See, if it kills a monster, it gains 500 attacks. I don't really know what he's waiting for to attack. Unless he's worried about Fairy Box. Oh my gosh, he's got five cards. Dude. Come on, come on, come on. No, damn it. Oh, well, he's powering up. This is not good. Oh, God. Thunder. Oh, dude, we're in trouble. Paid the life points. I have Magic Alarm Shield now, so I guess that's something. I can use that now. For whatever it's worth. Um. Yep, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Damn it, dude! Dude, this was unfair. Why does he have all this crap? Yeah, I'm gonna continue to pay the life points. Now, what is this? Okay, well, I don't have that card, so I can't bring that back through Monster Reborn. Bring back Baby Dragon. I'll summon Baby Dragon, I guess. But I think I'm gonna sacrifice him. Even though I got the polymerizations in my hand, I'm gonna sacrifice him for Garuzis. I can always bring him back with Monster Reborn if it comes to that. Oh, I could have made Alligator. No, I don't. I don't have Alligator Sword. I was gonna say I can make Alligator Sword Dragon, but I'm wrong. I'm stupid. Really? None of these cards he has back there can stop my attacks? The hell are the four cards then? Okay, Odeon, I don't know what you're doing. You have you have no cards in your hands. You better draw a monster. That's good. Oh, you're screwed. Well, I think that's GG. I'm pretty darn sure that's GG. I'm gonna destroy a fairy box. Odeon, you got something to help you, or is this just GG? I think this is just GG. Okay, the weirdest duel yet. I don't really know what he was doing. Odeon's deck contained a copy of an Egyptian god card. The, this angered the gods. So lightning struck Joey and Odeon, sending them to the mat. Master Merrick, I am not worthy enough to control this card, just as I was not worthy enough to be a part of your family. Odeon, I tried my best to serve you, my master. I tried. Odeon dedicated his life to protecting Merrick by containing the evil within Merrick. But with Odeon weakened, his control over the evil was losing its strength. Please forgive me, Joey. I'm sorry. It was an honor for me to duel you. Well, same to you, and thanks to that lightning bolt, I won't forget this duel for a while. Now that it's done, you gotta come clean. If you're not Merrick, then who are you? I am only a servant of the real Master Merrick. Admit your true identity, Merrick. Yes, it's true. I am indeed the real Merrick, you fools. So Namu lied to us all along? Namu? He was a disguise to get me closer to Yugi, so Pharaoh, we finally meet face to face to face. Now at last I can finish the job my pathetic servants couldn't. You get your puzzle and power will soon be where they belong. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We're all in great danger. The great evil hidden within Merrick's has a darker side and I'm unable to, to contain it anymore. It's too late now. Ah! <laughs> Merrick, what's going on? I'm finally free, which means I can do things my way. I was restrained for many years by that fool, Odeon. Who are you? I'm the true Merrick, and I'm not as kind as the one you've come to know, and soon I'll finish the job he couldn't complete and strip you of your powers. Ha 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 ha. Alright, duel with destiny, reverse, or du duel with destiny, and then reverse duel, awakening and evil, Odeon, uh, Temple of the King's deck recipe, the Gravekeeper's challenge deck, Mystical Beast circuit, Magical Arm Shield, and Tiki Curse, and some victory duel points. Alrighty, a duel with destiny. To duel is Kaiba. The next duel was my versus the real Merrick. My gave everything she 
What the heck? It just like auto skipped that. Okay, that was weird. Your friend made a costly mistake by dueling against me, and now I'm afraid she's paying the ultimate price. Notice her motionless appearance. That's because her mind is trapped. With each passing session, she she forgets more. The shadows are taking everything. Everything she kept inside her mind and inside her heart. Trapped by dark magic, my friends could do nothing to help her. Alright, you geeks. Clear the field for the next duel. The next duel was Seto Kaiba versus Siju Ishtar. The same as Shizu, I can't read, who Yugi and Tega met at the museum. She was the mystery, mysterious eighth finalist. This is quite a surprise. Yes, we meet again, Seto Kaiba. And so you've come to win back Obelisk. What I've come for is of greater importance. I've come to here to save my brother. Brother? Yes, for the past 5,000 years, and Ishtar has stood guard over the Pharaoh's tomb. Only Merrick turned against us, and the evil within him is even stronger now. If you remember, my Millennium Necklace has the power to show me events that are yet to come, and right now it tells me you will lose this duel to me. Enough with the Millennium items. I don't believe in that nonsense. I planned this with one goal in mind, to reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Have you forgotten that it was my idea for you guys, for you to organize the Battle City Tournament to allure du duelists like Merrick? And my plan worked, for my brother is here. But the hardest task is yet to come. The evil within him must be stopped. I'm surrounded by superstitious nitwits. Take your hocus pocus nonsense to someone else's tournament. My Millennium Necklace predicts that your lack of faith will be your downfall. Not with me. Not with me controlling his deck. That ain't gonna happen. Oh, let's go with Rock. Hey, I want another one. We're on a streak of winning now after losing. I lost like five in a row. Alright, let's do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, what the hell kind of a hand is this? Dude. Dude. What kind of a hand is this? What is kind of a hand does she have? Dude. Dude, this is not good. Why did I have to draw three soul exchanges on turn one? Okay, well I'm gonna activate soul exchange. Be using your card to bring out Kaiser Glider. Thank you. Alright, so... Um... Okay. I can't attack with it this turn, I'm pretty sure. It's like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? She's destroying her own deck. Oh, Swords Revealing Light, oh, of course. Yay, Lord of Dragon. Um, don't really want to summon him. Okay, I'm gonna activate this effect. Give me two Thunder Dragons. I'm gonna play Lord of D in defense mode. Hopefully, he won't. She won't attack him. Let's see, I can't attack because the sword's revealing light. I don't know why I went to battle phase. All right, Ashizu, do some crazy combo and summon some monsters for me. Oh, she is gonna attack my stupid Lord of D. Dang it, man. Okay, I'll take Warsh Raider because he won't be. She can't destroy him. I wonder if I can bring up. Can I? Can I okay. Bring a monster. Cannot conduct your pen. Okay. Oh, looky. Blue eyes. I think it's time to summon blue eyes. Okay, so say goodbye to your monster. There's one. And sacrifice Force Raider. Ah, it's good to have my blue eyes on the field. And now, your sword's revealing light's gone. And I've got two high power dragons ready. Aw, is that all you can do? Oh my gosh, she has another swords revealing light. What is this bull crap, dude? Dude, and there's another blue eyes. I can't summon any cards. I'm at a standstill, I can't summon anything. I could drop obelisk. Um Oh, here we go. The feral or er, death feral imp. I'm gonna set him in defense mode. She's gotta have a plan. She's down to 17 cards. I don't know what her deck plan is here. What is she trying to draw? 
Um, yeah. Yeah, dude, suck. F you, Shizu. Um, I want to send Soul Exchange. Okay. I could summon my other blue eyes. That's an option. Graveyard special summon it and face up. It cannot attack. Alright, let me do this. Got Boris Raider. Alright, now it's time for Soul Exchange. I will sacrifice this card. And I think it's time to summon Obelisk. So we can say goodbye to your monster. Aw, yeah! Bring it out the Egyptian God card. Let's go. What's his effect? And it's during the end phase. Uh, if this card was special some okay. You contribute two monsters, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. This card cannot declare an attack turn. This effect is activated. I don't need to do that. Yeah, your sword's revealing light's gone now. What you gonna do? Is there a great- Oh my gosh, dude! Can I just attack? This is ridiculous. Okay, I'll take Pot of Greed. Oh, yay! I can drop my other blue eyes. <gasps> oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, I'll set Dev's Feral Imp. Can I draw Polymerization now so I can get Twin Headed- Oh no, I can't get Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. He doesn't have that card. Oh, so I need to draw another blue eyes. And dude, just give up. You're not killing. What is he doing? Or what is she doing? Oh my. Oh my god. 3,800 attack. What the hell? Oh no, dude. Um. Okay, blue eyes get back in the deck. Probably should have done Pot of Greed. Back into the deck. Dude, I'm gonna get wrecked now. I don't want to activate Shrink. I'll activate it later. Okay, I'm gonna switch Blue Eyes into Defense Mode. Uh, and I'm gonna leave Kaiser Glider in attack, so hopefully... Hopefully that, uh... Hopefully he gets, or she attacks Kaiser Glider. That's a dream. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is ridiculous. Wait, select. Um. Okay, I'm gonna send you back to your hand. So it destroys that. Can I please attack now? This is getting kind of annoying. There's no point in me summoning Boris Raider. There's no point in me doing anything. Wait, I don't have two monsters this tribute. Not unless it wants me to sacrifice him, which is not gonna happen. No, I don't want to activate Shrink yet. Come on, Ashizu. Summoner's Art. Okay. Add one level 5 or higher normal monster from your deck. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this. So I can destroy it. I think I want to destroy it with four. Well, no, but I want to do that so I can get some extra damage. Bring a blue eyes to my hand. Okay, horse raider time. Alright, obelisk. And attack this. Okay, now War Trader, take that out. What? The oh god. Just keep getting more cards on the field. This is annoying. She's running out of cards in her deck though, so I'm not really sure what she's doing. Yeah, go ahead, destroy my War Trader. Um. um got a bunch of cards back. What the heck? What is this? What is this sorcery? Well, 
I can't even summon anything. It's just literally obelisk. That's all I got. Alright, take that damage. She's only winning because she had that card that kept giving her life points. Really, dude? I am so sick. I am so sick of this crap. Um, I don't really see the point to this, because I can't attack, so I'm not going to do it yet. Dude, this is ridiculous. Her deck is not that good. Oh, pot of green, I'll take that. Oh, good. Ancient rules. I can drop a blue eyes now. I can actually do an interesting little combo here, uh, but I want to get rid of that stupid swords revealing light before I do it. Oh, dang it. Now I gotta discard a card. I don't need Thunder Dragon. Dude, what is she doing? Oh, would you look at that? Another blue eyes. Well, I'm gonna discard this other... Well, actually... Do I have a Blue Eyes in my graveyard? I think I do. Alright, what are you gonna do? Spell reproduction. So she chose... No! Damn it! No, actually, that's fine. That's fine, never mind. I thought something different was happening. Okay, Ancient Rules. Drop it a blue eyes. Okay, silent doom. Blue eyes. Okay, now time to activate soul exchange. Actually, this is not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What am I thinking? What am I smoking? That's what I wanted to do. So now I can drop Kaiser Glider. Alright! I can't attack. So I guess I had to end my turn there. I don't know why it was. There was no option for battle phase. Oh, the monster. What? What? What is this sorcery, dude? Dude! What the fuck, man? You have got to be shitting me, dude. You have seriously got to be shitting me. Well, I guess I'm gonna return this thing to its hand. Uh, what the fuck? This is some legit bullshit, dude. Why do I have two obelisks? That makes no sense. Why on earth do I have two obelisk cards? Okay, well, it's gonna be on Vorschrader to bring this back for me. I'm really close to losing. Stupid. I'm gonna run out of cards before I can probably beat her. I think that's what's gonna happen, first of all. I'm gonna run out of cards. Oh, yay! Yay, I lose. There's nothing I can do. This stupid cestus of fucking D Dagla. I gotta draw an Ancient Rules. It's about all that's left that can save me. Well, I have to set that card. Um, but yeah, I gotta draw Ancient Rules or something. I don't even know what's left at Kaiba's deck. Oh, I lost. Son of a bitch. Well, it doesn't even really matter what card I send back to the deck, because I just lost. Son of a bitch, dude. I don't even get what the hell her deck is. She just kept sending cards to the graveyard. Son of a bitch. I know how to use Soul Exchange game. Son of a bitch, dude. Kaiba's deck is so wacky. There's literally Vorse Raider and then a bunch of high monsters. Second. Oh, dude. Okay. Please no three soul exchanges on turn one. Uh, one soul. Okay, wow, this hand sucks. Um.
Well, there's a crush card. Okay, well, I guess I'll send that to the graveyard, and I'll get two Thunder Dragons for the price of one, but... Issue currently is... This sucks, dude. I couldn't have had Kaiser Glider, I had to have this, this stupid Thunder Dragon with 1600 attack. What 5 star monster has 1600 attack? Can't attack because of Soul Exchange. <sighs> no, I don't want to activate Shrink. Son of a bitch, man. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, what the... Of course. Why am I not surprised? Hey, yeah, look, Fluta Summoning Dragon. Look, I literally have nothing in my hand that I can do. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Tybee, your deck is some boo cocky, man. Oh, yay, throw monsters. Probably that stupid freeze monster. Can I have a card that I can play? Thank you. Um, I really have no other option than to summon that card. I don't want to activate Shrink, game. Why on earth would I want to activate Shrink? Oh, sweet. Oh, great. You know, just wonderful. Um, can I get a card that I- oh my god, dude. I still can't play anything. Man, this is so stupid. <sighs> this is so stupid. No, I don't want to activate Shrink. Okay, discard Thunder Dragon. I am going to lose. I'm gonna lose because I can't get any cards in my hand. I can't draw anything, so I'm gonna lose because I can't play a card. Oh my... Dude. Well, I lost. I lost. There's nothing I can do. I have nothing in my hand that I can play. Kaiba, this deck is horrible. Who told you this was a good idea? You literally just have a bunch of high-powered monsters that I can't even play. Son of a... Son of a bitch, dude. I never thought I'd get stuck using Kaiba's deck. I just never thought it would happen. Because I really like Kaiba's deck, but this deck is just weak. You got Vorse Raider and a Blade Knight and what else? You don't have any level 4 below monsters. See, once again, dude. Once again, I can't... I don't have a card I can play! Dude. What the hell am I supposed to do? What the hell am I supposed to do? There are literally no monsters in his deck that I can play. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose without being able to summon a card. See, the present issue is that even if I draw something, it's going to get destroyed. Like, they're literally just going to destroy it. So there is literally no point. There's literally no point. I'm going to get wrecked. Oh my... Dude, 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 dude. Kaiba, your deck is some cheeks magoo. Yay, I got 1,500 life points left. I don't even think there's anything I can do. Yeah, look at that. I can add a card to my hand that I can't play. Woohoo! Kaiba, your deck is not complete ass or anything, you know. I like how it's like telling me, oh, you need to play Blue Eyes and... You need to play Blue Eyes and Obelisk. You know, how the hell do you expect me to do that? Finally beat me. Am I going first this time, probably? Yep, I'm going first. Well, at least I can uh, get a turn out of the way here early with Kaiba's preppy. 
Okay, well, I guess this works. This is still not a very good hand. But it's much better than any of the crap that I have had, so... You know what, I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna set Ring of Destruction. And end my turn. What you gonna do, Ishizu? Oh, she's gonna do nothing. Okay. Got another ring of destruction. That doesn't really help me. Okay, well, I guess it's time to summon Kaiser Glider. Nothing else I can do. I hate shrink. Why has it always gotta ask me if I wanna do that? Alright, time to bring back Force Raider. Whoopee! Attack mode. Okay, battle phase time. No, oh my gosh, this is annoying. Okay, one down, Kaiser Glider. Oh my gosh, I'm holding B, but it doesn't work correctly when you're attacking. Okay, I wish the game would use some logic here. Why would I want to use Shrink on my own guys right now? Like, there's not a logical explanation to that. And go ahead and do whatever you want. I'm just gonna ring a destruction, that thing. Yep, say goodbye. I have more life points than you, so I can take the damage. Oh, looky here, Shizu. Is this gonna be GG for you? I think this is gonna be GG. Unless you got something to stop it, I finally got a halfway decent hand and it screwed you because your your deck is crap. Kaiba's deck is better, you just don't have any cards you can play with Kaiba's deck. You literally have to get a lucky draw because the last couple of games that I played, I couldn't even summon anything. There we go. Victory! Woo! The stupidest victory. Victory is mine. Very impressive, Kaiba. You managed to overcome the fate that my Millennium Necklace showed me. I won this duel for the same reason I'll win the tournament. My superior skills and intelligence. Perhaps, but you've taught me a valuable lesson about the nature of destiny, and for that, I am grateful. I may have lost the duel, but in the process I have gained something of far greater importance. The realization that if I am to win this battle for my brother's spirit, I will need your help, Kaiba. Thank you, for I know you will help me save my brother. Hmm. Believe whatever you need to, Ishizu, but I'm only on I'm only in this for myself. Alright, Clash in the Coliseum unlocked, Ishizu, Deck Avatar, Beyond the Grave Deck Recipe, Spellbook Prophecy Challenge Deck, Swords Revealing Light, Skellangel, and uh, Dark Lord Edare. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this episode, guys, and the next one we will be doing Clash in the Coliseum. The duel against Merrick and maybe this, um, we'll see. I'll probably do all three of them just to have it finished up in one episode instead of having one leak over into another episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.